Does your family have a hurricane preparedness plan? Having a plan makes storms less stressful. If a storm is heading your way, your family will have to decide if they want to stay or if they should evacuate. Evacuate means that you and your family leave your home when the storm is the strongest and come back after it's over. Your family will be told by the weatherman, the governor, the mayor, and many other people if you need to leave. If your family decides it's best to leave town, you'll want to pack these things. Extra shoes and clothes. Favorite toys, books, and games. Electronics and chargers slash batteries. Toothbrush and other toiletries. Flashlight. First aid kit. Pets and carriers and their food. And your favorite pictures, drawings, and other special things that you don't want to leave behind. Since you don't know how long you'll be gone, make sure your parents call your doctor to get any medicines before you leave and to make sure they know where you'll be going. Because telephones may not be working during this storm, ask your parents where you'll be going and if that place has a phone number you can give to friends and family. Also, if you have access to the internet, be sure to check in as safe on Facebook whenever you arrive at your destination. Because hurricanes cause very strong winds that can break glass, whether you leave or stay, make sure to help your parents board up all the windows in the house. If you have shutters, secure those instead of boards. Help your parents clean up the yard from toys and other things. In case the power goes out while you're gone, help your parents to clean out the fridge and place special things that you can't take with you in a waterproof container, such as Tupperware or Ziploc, and put them in a high place. If your family decides to stay in town, the electricity might go out and the water may be undrinkable. Therefore, you'll want to have these things stocked at your house hand crank radio, flashlight and batteries, a cooler with ice to keep food cold, lots of water and food that does not need to be in the refrigerator, books, games, and toys that do not need electricity to operate, all of your medicines, toiletries, and clean clothes because you may not be able to leave your house for a few days during and after the storm. Just like if you were to leave, put all special papers in waterproof containers to keep them safe. When the wind is blowing hard, go to the smallest room in your house with the least amount of windows to be safe. Can you think of which room this is? When you come back, things may look a little different. Some tree branches may have fallen and some trash cans may be blown over. It will eventually get cleaned up. See? Things will start looking normal soon. If you want any more information, check out these websites. Thanks for watching and for helping keep your family safe this hurricane season.